What gives? There's no cosplay cafe here. Huh? Was I only dreaming? I remember it saying cosplay cafe in the pamphlet, though. Maybe there was a last minute change. Why don't we try going inside? Huh? You're into this stuff? Come on, she's a detective. I bet she'd masqueraded as others before cosplay was a thing. Um, that's... Well, I'll let it pass without comment. More importantly, Senpai, may I ask you to open this door on my queue? I'm glad you catch on quickly. Well then, here goes. Three, two, one, go! Is this display based on a children's story? It must have been a lot of work. Risei-san, please search this area with your persona. Whoa, wait a sec! We're at school! I can't summon it here! Why are you making me call out for no reason? This is so awkward. Humor me. Uh, fine, if you insist. But don't blame me if this gets weird, okay? Persona! It worked! I knew it. Are we inside the TV? But we never went into one, and I don't see any fog here. Hold on, I'm sensing shadows up ahead. One, two... Tons of them! Some really strong ones, too! Ah, come on! If there were shadows around, there's no way I wouldn't sniff them out. Shadows are actually here! Whoa, there really are shadows here? Oh, what should we do? I'm staying behind, too. <laughs> Are you volunteering for bodyguard duty? That's so sweet of you, Kanji. Shut up. I don't want to hear any complaints of the shadow attacks. I'm just kidding. Well then, Senpai, I'll wait out here with Kanji. Sorry, but I'm going to investigate elsewhere. There's something else that's caught my attention. Huh? Oh, sure. I'll go with Naoto then. You guys got nothing to worry about with my partner there. Leave it to me. Wait for our report, got it? Okay, let's meet back where we just came in from. Don't let your guard down.
the ones I was picking up on earlier. Who are you? Don't point that at other people! It's dangerous! I'm asking who you are. Monsters? They did attack, but I drove them away. You did? But weren't you crying earlier? What's wrong? I, I was scared. I, I was scared, but Zen kept saying that we need to go in. It must be scary being in a place like this. Were you about to go further inside? That was the intention. But... But there's still a long, long way to go from here. My bear nose works a bit too, you know. So it's gonna take a while, huh? Then shouldn't we go back? I wanna check in with Yosuke and everyone. Go back?
xâm hại. Wearing them down. Then listen to our leader, okay? Chan and Zenkun, right? Oh wait, or is it Raison and Zenson? Uh, how old are you guys? I mean, like, what year are you in? What year are you in? Huh? I'm a first year. A first year. Oh, and we're the same age. What were you two doing in there? I thought we needed to get out of here. We were looking for a place to leave from. Leave? If you want to leave, use the school gate. Do you, like, uh, have no sense of direction? There is no exit. Huh? There is no exit. Wait, what? There's 
a school gate, but we can't get out that way. The secret passage that Kanji Kun usually uses didn't exist at all. Hey, how do you know about the hole in the fence? I mean, I used it just this morning. There's no way it ain't there. It's not there. We can't leave this school. And then there's that clock tower. Clock tower? You mean the one in the seven horrors? It would be faster to show it to you. Please, follow me. It's for real! There actually is a clock tower here! It was demolished before Yukiko-senpai and the others began elementary school, correct? I don't know exactly when, but I think it was around that time. But I thought it was more like a small monument than an actual full-size tower. It was so big that a person could go inside. Size aside, looks like we can't go inside this one either. Huh? Even though it's this big? Yes, there's no door. Alas, if only we could enter. I thought we'd find some sort of clue. I see. Hey, Zenkun, Raichan. Do you know anything about this clock tower? Um, it's been here all this time. Is the clock stopped? It is moving, but it's extremely slow. Slow? Neither Ray nor I know anything about this building. That bell did ring. So the bell we heard must have been this clock tower's bell. The bell rang, and I entered that labyrinth with Ray. That's where we met you. You went in after hearing the bell? May I ask why? I felt that that's what needed to be done. I see. Hey, why don't we go see Margaret? Maybe she's figured something out about this place. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. What a mess you've dragged me into. Wait, we dragged you into this? Um, what is this place? It seems this is a haven in the rift. A place that exists between dream and reality. It connects to the world of the collective unconsciousness. It must be similar to the TV world you are all familiar with. So that's why there are shadows here and we could summon our... But why are we in such a place? I don't know the reason. But do you remember what I said before? Nothing meaningless happens here. Reality and this haven in the rift connected via the velvet room and you all descended here It happened by necessity indeed one could call it fate Fate There is something that you must do here. That is all I know I do not know what it is, 
But unless you accomplish it, there will be no way back to reality. In other words, we won't be able to leave here? <gasps> For real? Is that why the students are acting so weird? All they say is Yasugami High's culture festival is fun and... Let's go to the carnival shooting gallery. It's like the answers they give me don't match my questions. We can buy what they're selling now. Also, I don't see anyone else I know here. I mean, not that I know every single student's face, but there's no way I wouldn't recognize even one person. All they do is speak words. You cannot communicate with them. The students here aren't human. They're something like phantoms. Shadows will not attack them. As far as I know, those monsters you call shadows have never come out from that labyrinth. I do not know why, but it's always been so. Always? How long have you two been here? A pretty long while? What about before coming here? We were here when we gained consciousness. We don't remember anything before that. Our memories were taken. T taken? Wait, by who? I don't know. But you remember having them taken? But I remember having them taken. But how would someone take another person's memories? Could that someone be here? I don't know. Uh, could our memories get taken too? I don't know. Pretty serious. Yeah. Uh. Wait, for real? Does this mean there's a bad guy here? The penny drops! In any case, let's look for a way to leave here. The clues must be in that labyrinth. It's obviously different from everywhere else here. Leave? Ray? Zen, let's leave together, okay? I, I want to go back too. All right, if that is what you wish. I have a favor to request. If you are going to enter this labyrinth, I ask that you take us with you. We won't be any trouble. I will protect Ray. And I can fight the monsters in this labyrinth. Yes. I hope we get along. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, I'm feeling hungry. a Yosuke level disappointment did you just insult Ray I I would never I just meant that her distinctive looks and personality are amazing no 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 Zen that's dangerous <sighs> <laughs> you two get along well I promised that we stay together. I 
promise to get all cozy together in my costume, too. With Miss Margaret, of course. Then I will fulfill my duty as well. As guests of the Velvet Room, I'll assist you as much as I am able. If you are to fight against shadows, you will need to make the necessary preparations. Hmm. Where to start? She totally ignored me! If we are to fight shadows, then I worry about our equipment. To proceed safely, we'll want armor to protect ourselves, and weapons to attack the shadows. Useful tools would be also helpful. And ideally, we'd have some place to replenish our stamina. Yeah, I don't like the idea of having to go without supplies. Would this be insufficient? It's a projectile device that uses nearby objects. Its effect changes depending on what it fires. Why don't you all use one too? Probably shoot Yosuke before I got used to it. I can so see that happening. Seriously though, we all use completely different weapons. Never mind unfamiliar, it'd be dangerous. I see. Different weapons for each of you. So, it would help if you had weapons? around I think they have some let's go look together and we can swing by the donut shop on our way handcrafted workshop was it always like this Zen, Zen, strawberries they're like berries full of straw Full of straw. I see. Hey, I bet this is your kind of place, huh, Kanji? Uh, well, kinda. Yeah, I think we can use the weapons here. They all seem pretty sturdy and... Huh? Are they no good? It may be possible to imbue them with enough power to fight shadows. You should find them from time to time upon defeating shadows in the labyrinth. When you find these, please bring them to me. I will use those materials to make weapons, armor, and sundries. Materials? Allow me to give it a try. Please wait a moment. What do you think? I believe it came out quite well. As you have seen, I will create your equipment and sundries. But I expect to be compensated for my efforts. That is how contracts work after all. Nothing comes free. What? How stingy! Also, taking all your belongings into the labyrinth will surely be troublesome. If there are things you do not expect to need inside, you can leave them with me. You're gonna charge us for that too, aren't you? For this lady's sake, I'll look after your belongings free of charge. You also desired some place to recover your stamina, yes? I happen to know a perfect facility for that nearby. Will you all follow me? Phew! 
I'm relieved to see it's just a normal nurse's office. Are there any nurses here? Hello? Don't be sad, Yosuke. I didn't say anything! I will make arrangements for you to replenish your stamina here. Remember to come here whenever you return from the labyrinth. As with your equipment, I will obviously require compensation for use of this facility. Though my prices will be reasonable, my intent is not to make you suffer. However, what might constitute a fair price is beyond my ken. You'll be fine as long as it doesn't exceed one million yen, no? I wish you had even the sense of your average housewife. Anyway, you can now make all the preparations you should need. If you have trouble, try adjusting your equipment and healing. That may give you the advantage you need. Deciding who will take part in the battles is also key. Don't neglect your formation. Well then, I bid you good luck. Hey Senpai, maybe you should look over the formation like Margaret suggested. Now that the whole gang's together, you need to decide on who's actually gonna help out in fights. Let me tell you what you need to watch out for when setting up your formation. There's a front row and a back row. People in back will be hurt less by enemy attacks. But if you put someone who uses a close-range weapon back there, they won't be as effective. Oh, good point! It'll be hard to kick stuff from back there. The Satanaka style works best from the front. Naruto Kun, Zen Kun and I will have no problems attacking from the back with our weapons, though. The key appears to be setting up a formation that works with each of our weapons. Should we have an offensive mix, lean on defense, or feel the balanced team? We can adjust as needed. Yeah, that's a lot to digest all at once. Oh, <laughs> I'm fine leaving it all up to him. You can change who's in the front and back rows during battle, too. Try mixing it up, depending on the situation. Will that be acceptable? Oh. 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 
I will see you again. Welcome.